We're better than the Panama Canal to talk about schemas and instances. So, so far you've worked pretty much with instances and you might be saying, that's pretty cool. I can represent any kind of information I want in this instance and it works pretty well and um, that's the end of the story. Well, actually it's really just the beginning of the story and if I was to be strictly consistent with the logic of this subject matter, I wouldn't even have started with instances because instances are far less important to us than what comes before the instance. We did the instances first because they're relatively close in, um, in structure to an HTML file. I figure you're, you're familiar with HTML files and so, um, uh, and so we'll start there. But in fact, we really should have started with schemas. So why? Why is there such a thing as schemas and how do they compare to instances? First of all, um, are uh, instance documents enough really to represent your information? You might have realized already so far that if you make a mistake in an instance, that it sort of goes unpunished. You, you can't make syntax mistakes, right? The instance has to be well formed, we know that. But do you have to spell the same tag the same way each time? In fact, you don't. No one's gonna say nothing to you. No one's gonna say anything to you if you, um, if you spell the same tag two different ways in your instance. There's really no enforcement of the rules at that level. The only rules there are in an instance are the rules of syntax, the rules of well-formedness. We need another level of rules to make sure that when you type your tags, they're the correct tags. Not just that they're in the correct form, but they're the correct tags. An instance really is not enough to specify all the rules you might want to have. And the first bi and biggest rule is the rules of naming. How about the rules of optionality? If a tag may be there, but doesn't really have to be there. Not enough information in the instance to specify that kind of rule. How about the idea of multiplicity or cardinality as we call it, where you can have multiple tags of the same kind or you can have um, one, say, between five and 10 students in a class, right? That's a rule we might wanna have in our instance. And there's nothing in the instance that says there needs to be at least five student tags or less than 10 student tags. Lots and lots of rules like that, all sorts of things. For example, um, a student's date of birth. Nothing in the instance says that it has to be a date of birth and not some other piece of information that's not really a date at all. So the instance itself is really not enough to specify all those rules. We need, a, some, we need something else. We need something bigger. Um, before, uh, 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 before going on, however, let me, let me ask the question, are instances too much? Most of the instances that we're gonna create in this class are really pretty simple ones. And so if your task was to create an instance as simple as most of the ones we'll construct in this class, the instance and the whole idea of XML itself might be too much, might be more than, uh, more than you need. And in fact, for almost everything that we'll do in this class, you could do it much easier in HTML if you just got rid of the whole XML thing and did it in HTML. But the reason, and, the, but, and so you might say, well, why would we even use the XML that we do in this class? What's the point? The point is to teach you how to use it, not that for the magnitude of the problems that we'll be dealing in, with in this class that you would necessarily use it. Although in the class project, if you do the class project, you'll see that you, by the end of the project, you certainly start to get some clear leverage, some clear advantage to using XML over HTML. But for the most part, we're doing things that are simple enough that if you were doing them in the real world, you probably just wouldn't bother with XML and use HTML. So instances are, in fact, too much. They're too heavy for what we're mostly trying to create in this class and why I'm using them is as an example of things that are much larger, concepts that are much larger. And on the other hand, instances are not nearly enough to represent all the rules that we're going to need to represent our, um, our information models. That's why we need schemas.